Welcome back everybody. I want to tell you guys I have a new guest cook today. It's my greedy sister, the one that I mentioned <laughs> before. Anyway, you have to forgive us because... <laughs> okay, anyway, we're making a vegan veggie cheese out of cashews. We're going to make a dish and then I'm doing regular macaroni and cheese and I'll tell you what ingredients I'm utilizing and then she'll tell you which one she is. Now for mine, I'm going to be using a big box of Velveeta right here. I have it cut up already. Black pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt, evaporated milk, and I'm going to do it in my flour for my roux. But let me tell you why I use evaporated milk instead of regular milk. Evaporated milk tends to let the noodles uh, keep their shape when, you, um, when it gets cold and then you heat it up. They retain their shape when you put it in a microwave or you heat it back up in the oven. Whereas regular milk, because of, I guess, the that is so thin but evaporated milk. Alright so right now my sister Darcel she's going to go ahead and tell you what ingredients she's going to be utilizing. Okay for my veggie chi I'm going to be using a can of tomatoes. Now you can use tomatoes or you can use pimentos. I prefer to use tomatoes. I get a better taste out of it. However pimentos is just as fine. I'm going to be using a cup of raw cashews, a cup of water, a third cup of a fourth cup of oil, a third cup of lemon juice, four tablespoons of brewer's yeast, and I will show you the package uh, in a minute. Um, two tablespoons of sesame seeds. They can be toasted, which these are, or they can be untoasted. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to have, and I mixed up all my little ingredients here. One and a half teaspoons of salt, one tape, one teaspoon of onion powder an eighth of a teaspoon of celery seed and an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to blend all that together and then pour it over my noodles. This is the brewer's yeast. And you can find it at where? You can find it at any health food store. Any health food store. I prefer um, Loma Linda La Sierra, but you can find it at any health food store. So, Darso, I just have a question. Um, are we going to mix this with a spoon or are we going to put it in a blender? We're going to blend this all together. So once it's blended, I'm going to throw all this into a blender, blend it up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I will pour it over my noodles. And speaking of noodles, you can use any type of pasta that you prefer. My family, we prefer um, uh, spaghetti, spaghetti noodles. But any type of pasta is fine. If you want it more like uh, her mac and cheese, you can use the... Uh, the, the, uh, Elbows. the elbow, yes. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now I'm just showing you how I'm making my sauce for the mac and cheese, which will be for the vegetarians and the meat eaters. And remember, this was evaporated milk, so I'm going to pour that in there. Because I already put my flour, I put my salt, seasoned salt, my black pepper, and my garlic in here. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm going to put a little bit of water in here because it's really going to thicken up. Doesn't look like it right now, but it's going to start thickening up. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here. Because I want, I want the sauce where it's really a nice consistency where it's going to be really creamy. And everything. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Start letting that thicken up. But in the meantime, I, you saw I had all my Velveeta cheese cut up. So I'm just going to start putting it in here and letting it melt. Okay, just want to drop that in there. Like I said, anytime you're dropping stuff in liquid that could possibly be hot, be careful so that it doesn't pop back on you because you can get a few little burns from the hot liquid. So just be careful. Now you got to make sure that when you're doing this particular sauce for your macaroni and cheese, that you keep um, keep an eye on it because it will burn quick and then it's ruined and then you'll have to go ahead and start over or unless you like eating burnt macaroni and cheese sauce which doesn't taste very good by the way I've done this a couple times where I wasn't paying attention because this sauce cooks very quick but it's easy to burn also alright everybody when we come back we'll show you the finished product with this for the cheese macaroni and for the vegan um, cashew. We'll show you how it looks when it's mixed up, when it's completely done, and then what it's, we're going to pour it over our particular noodles, and we'll show you that as soon as we get back. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. 
Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we are, and as you can see right here, Darcy, tell them a little bit about your sauce, what it looks like. Okay, so this is the sauce after I've blended it. It's going to come out with this type of a consistency, and then all you have to do now is just pour it over the noodles. Okay, pour it over. Okay, we're going to pour it over the noodles. Okay, and then I'm just going to agitate the noodles a little bit just to um, loosen them up and to get this mixture um, well saturated. Just to make sure that this sauce gets into every bit space and it's going to look something like this. Once I finish doing this, I'm going to go ahead and um, there's an option. You can put breadcrumbs, seasoned um, breadcrumbs over the top of it, or you can just bake it as it is. Still delicious. And you're going to bake it in an oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. And once you finish with that, you take it out and dive in. And that is going to be, so you'll see the finished product once it's been in the oven. But for my dish, that is all. All right, everybody, here for the macaroni and cheese because when you use a big block of Velveeta cheese, you end up getting two pans like this or a large pan, aluminum pan. And so here's the finished sauce right here. All I'm going to do is, and even if the cheese is not, it's uh, some of the Velveeta might be a little bit where you can see it's not quite done, it's okay. And you're just going to pour it. As you can see, I put my cheese in the middle of all the noodles as I'm doing it, and I'm making a mess right now, but that's okay. And Darso, if you could come over here once you finish that, start stirring this up, please, and this one right here. Okay. So I want to make sure I have enough sauce. And so you want the sauce to be kind of like this because it's going to thicken up even more with... Go ahead with um, the pasta because you know pasta tends to make things thick and all I want to do is just put that all in there I don't add any cheese on top you can do that I add it in the middle so that it's just um, all cheesy so stir it make sure it's all good I want to make sure okay. I have enough on this one so I'm going to keep one of these pans and of course I'm sending the rest with my greedy sister for her family because <laughs> she would kill me if I wouldn't I don't have a choice she's like making me do that. My children would kill me if I didn't bring it back. Okay. So that should be enough for that one, but keep stirring up a little bit. Yeah, let me just here. Yeah, because you want to be careful that you don't overflow it because it will overflow in the oven. I'll put some right there. Okay, that's going to be enough. And I think that one's going to be fine. And it's going to bake with the veggie cheese at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes or until you like it brown, however you like it. Yeah, that's all you need for that. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get the edges a little bit. Oh, and here's another good thing. If you don't, you don't have to cook this right away, you can actually put it in the freezer if you want to freeze it before it's completely baked and you want to just set it out for at another time, you can do that as well. All right, and then there that is. So we're going to cut the camera off right now, and we'll be back once the finished product is done. All right, everybody, we'll see you in a minute. Hey, everybody, welcome back. So here we have the finished products. We have the veggie cheese, which is made with cashews, and we have the macaroni and cheese, which is made for vegetarians and meat eaters and not those who are vegan. And no eggs, by the way. Uh-huh, and tell them about the gluten. Remember that? Oh, and also... The gluten in her last video she made the gluten from scratch if you want to sh cut around that all you have to do is go and buy they have gluten that you can powder gluten and you just add water and you can get the same thing it's not going to be the same as hers it's going to be more airy but it will be instant gluten all right everybody i hope you guys enjoyed this video and go ahead darso what about if you like this video please like and subscribe to delicious duality and remember guys, stay frosty.